Hey guys, it's Merck back again with another video, and today we're painting walls. Um, right now I have the camera pointed at things you will need. Again, if you've seen my last video on doing ceilings, I have my paint cup on the right from Lowe's sitting on the ladder there. Um, cheap paint cups, they have a handle, a magnet to hold the paintbrush. Um, they're cheap, you can get them at any place. Um, to the left on the floor, you see I have a paint tray, again, plastic, cheap, and I have a paint roller. Um, just to show you the roller quick, I get these from Lowe's. They're green. Um, they make more expensive ones. You can get them more fluffy or less fluffy, depending on what you want. These ones are basically throwaways. Use them, throw them away. What happens is usually more expensive rollers will, uh, they won't mat down as quickly. So like this one, after you do a room or two rooms, it starts to mat down and it won't suck up paint that good anymore. So that's why you, you have to get rid of it. There's ways you can clean them out, but they're so cheap, they're basically just throw away. If you get more expensive ones, you might want to clean them out just because the price. Um, they come in three packs, six packs, they're cheap. Just get a decent handle, you're going to be holding it all day. With the nice soft rubber grip, you know, your hand doesn't get uncomfortable so you can paint longer. Um, usually the cheaper handles are plastic and, you know, it just it's not comfortable after a few hours. Um, today we don't really have to paint on the bottom, cutting in wise, because uh, we're doing new carpet in here. So I pulled off all the code base. They're going to put a carpet code base in, so I'm not worried about the bottom. I can just kind of brush it or roll it as I see fit. No worries about cutting it in with a paintbrush. Um, in my last video, I showed I cut in with uh, the paintbrush on corners and stuff. Some people like to tape. For me, if you have a steady hand, you can do it with the paintbrush. But if you're worried about that, you can use painter's tape. Um, a lot of people like frog tape because even with painter's tape, the paint will seep under the tape and you won't get a straight line. So a lot of people recommend the frog tape. It sticks better and the paint doesn't seep under the tape. But for me, I like to skip all that. It's an extra step that takes a lot of time and you can just get it out of the way by, if you have a steady hand, using a nice brush and getting it done with the brush. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into the uh, top here where I do have to cut in. And I'm just gonna show you quick kind of what I do with the step ladder here. So what I do is I take my step ladder, I get into my spot, just watch where you're going. and. Uh, Take the paintbrush, wipe it off so you're not dripping all over. Make sure you have a, a decent amount of paint soaked in there and kind of just go along. And I'm using the same paintbrush I did from the last video, so check that out. It's just an angled paintbrush. Just go like this. As long as you have a steady hand, you can do this and you really don't need to do all the taping. And it cuts a lot of time out, it saves time. All the painting, pulling off, or the taping, I should say, and pulling off the tape. And honestly, these corners and stuff are never perfectly straight anyway, so you just go with the paintbrush and follow the curves and angles because it's not a perfect line anyway. So even with tape, you gotta, you know, curve the tape to go with the ceiling. I mean, some people just can't do it with the brush and then you have to use tape. So I'll do that, and what I'll do is I'll cut in the top first, I go around. Move my uh, little step ladder down as I go, do the whole top. And then if the bottom didn't have, you know, we can take a coat base off to do the new carpet, I would do the same on the bottom second and just kind of move myself along on the floor and do the bottom where you can kneel down or whatever you're comfortable doing. And then what I would do, I'll show you quick. And oh, by the way, you're gonna get paint on you. Even if you're very careful and you don't spill, when you're rolling the walls, like little spots of splatter always come off the roller. So just wear stuff that you're not worried about getting dirty because you're gonna get something on you, even if you're perfectly careful. I've been where I've painted the rooms and not even used a, like a throw thing, like a painter's tarp. And I'm so careful that I, I make sure I don't get it on the rug, I don't get it on anything, but I'll still get it on myself because you just get that little bit of splatter that comes off the roller. So just wear junk clothes, long story short. So you take your roller, you soak it up good, you know, just roll it in the paint tray. Like right now it's green, I'm using pink paint, not my choice. <laughs> and uh, make sure you roll it, soak it in good. Usually the first time you go with a brand new roller, it doesn't soak in that much. You gotta get a couple runs with it. 
And then what I like to do is work from the middle. Because wherever you start, you have your wettest spot. So you're basically like spreading the paint out from that. And then work your way out from the middle. And uh, I've always liked to do the high spots first and then work down. Crap rolls downhill, so your whatever drips and wet spots you get, it's easier just to start high. I've always thought you can do whatever way you prefer, but roll it up again. You know, just keep working your way down. I usually work to the right. I'm a lefty, but I like working to the right. I don't know why. You know, and since you already have a cut in at the top, you're just rolling up to that. You're not making sure you don't hit your ceiling. And just putting along, you know. And then if you get into a fixture, I don't know if it's in the frame, let me check quick. Yeah, it's to the right here, so. If you get to a fixture, like we have this uh, box on the wall for the thermostat, you're just gonna have to cut around that with a paintbrush. Um, you know, like outlets and stuff, you can take off the covers. Sometimes I'll go around them, but if you do a couple coats, like these are apartments, so you're gonna paint it a couple times, you'll get a lip where the buildup of the paint is around the plate. So it's good to take them off anyway and just go right around with a roller, just, you know, no big deal. Just get it done. And uh, yeah, you know, just work your way down. And I'm just doing this as an example, but what I usually do is I'll cut in the whole top first, then I'll do the bottom if I have to, and then I'll roll it. That way you're doing one thing at a time and it's easier just to go. When you're, the hardest thing with painting is like when you have to switch from one color to another color, then you gotta clean all your stuff, take the stuff off, unless you got two sets of everything, and then you gotta clean everything and it's time consuming. So you wanna keep it, you know, one thing at a time bust it all out, like I have this room to do pink, and I might be doing the bathroom pink too. So I'll do these two rooms, and then the other stuff that's gonna be yellow, I'll clean everything, change everything over, and then do all the yellow. I mean, I don't wanna do you know, this room pink, then do one of the yellow rooms, then go back to pink. It's easier to keep everything going, keep the flow going, and it saves a lot of time. So then I would work my way down. You know, same idea. And you just want to make sure sometimes you'll get a wet spot where the roller stops. So say if I'm going up and my roller stops there, or usually it's down when it happens, but sometimes where your roller stops, you'll get like a wet spot. You just want to double check, make sure you roll over that. Look for any lines and anything, you know, make sure everything's even with the texture and, uh, you know, keep it moving. And, uh, just a couple easy tips and tricks on how to keep everything going forward and make it a little bit quicker. So, hey guys, just want to show you painting walls. Um, I might have some other uh, painting tips and tricks coming up, but for now I figured this would be good. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.